Christofferson. This one. Chris came to Nashville in 1965. He met Cowboy Jack Clement down at the railroads, and Cowboy showed him around and took him backstage at the Grand Ole Opry, and he shook Johnny Cash's hand, and Chris said it was electric. And after that, he decided he had to move here. He went from being a army captain and helicopter pilot to being a janitor at Columbia Studios, and he was there when Bob Dylan was recording Blonde on Blonde. Chris considered himself a songwriter. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to write songs and have other people cut them. And he really didn't think about performing. He met Fred Foster, who started Monument Records. And Fred Foster wanted to record Chris. And so he signed Chris to his first record deal on Monument. When Chris did Austin City Limits in season seven, it was a really big deal. The Sunday morning sidewalk. He had a kick-ass band behind him on the stage, including Austin's own legendary Stephen Bruton on guitar. See him wasted on the sidewalk in his jacket and his jeans, wearing yesterday's misfortunes like a smile. So I thought, this is my guy. And I got chills, and it just blew me away. I go, this is something special. I think Bobby McGee might have been uh, one of the first ones I heard of his that just, you know, you hear it and then you pick your jaw up off the floor. Feeling good was good enough for me. Good enough for me, Bobby McGee. Chris was, you know, doing songwriting at a level of literature, to write country songs at a level of literature. Chris was the first guy that, that thought like that. From where the true poet knows, you know, that, that, that writes from that place, that a, the real true poet, he writes from there. I took myself down to the Tally Hall Tavern. You know, that outlaw thing of just doing it his way, you know, just um, writing the tune that he wants to write and not uh, writing it uh, for any particular um, audience or anything like that. Back in season 35, Chris came and performed basically just as a solo performer with his guitar and his harmonica. He did the uh, title song for a movie I was in called Fat City. And we got to use Help Me Make It Through the Night. And it's such a wonderful, uh, wonderful tune and it brought back all kinds of memories for me. And it's bad to be alone. Help me make it through the night. Thank you. He thanks the audience before they applaud, which I've always thought is, is that's very Christopherson. That's one of those things. It's like, his music is part of the music that founded Austin City Limits in the first place. He was quite an influence. He just really made my life go zing, you know. He was the champ. And he still is, as far as I'm concerned. Chris is on my Mount Rushmore. He's essential to music, and he's essential to songwriters, and what ACL represents, and I think he's essential to any Hall of Fame. And in terms of the people who have contributed to the success of Austin State Limits, and who helped build the foundation for what it's become today, he's right up there. Thank you.